Hey guys, this video is intended for those of you who are interested in the AR platform and would like to know a little bit more about the controls, a little bit about the function, how to disassemble and reassemble the rifle for cleaning. So uh, let's get started. This particular model is an AR M4 carbine. M4 means that it's got a flat top along here. I've got a uh, carry handle attached to it and the carbine just means that it's a short barrel, 16 inch barrel. Let's start off with the safety check. The magazine is empty. The rifle is empty as well. Just a quick overview, front sight, rear sight, dust cover, forward assist, magazine release, charging handle on the back, on the left side of the rifle is a fire safety selector and a bolt, ca bolt catch release. This is your standard A-frame mil spec front sight. It's got a bayonet lug on the bottom and on the top it has a post with the elevation adjustment. To adjust the elevation point of impact up, see if I can get that to focus for you. This says up and there's a little arrow. You depress the knob, the button pin right there and rotate the knob clockwise. To decrease your uh, point of impact or move it down, depress the knob and rotate the front sight post counterclockwise. The M4 designation on the carbine means that it's got a flat top. I'm currently running a carry handle with an integrated rear sight. The integ this is the uh, flat top which gives you plenty of options for mounting uh, optics and a flip up rear sight. I'm currently running the carry handle with an uh, integrated rear sight. The integrated rear sight has Two apertures in the rear, a, a bigger aperture which is uh, like 0 to 200 meters and when you flip it down it has a smaller aperture which is generally used for 200 meters out to uh, 600 meters. It has a windage knob located on the right side of the rifle. Um, to adjust the point of impact to the right you turn it clockwise, to adjust the point of impact to the left you turn it counterclockwise. If you have a flip up sight, it will generally have this knob and these apertures flip up and down uh, and it may or may not have this additional knob here. The additional knob there, if your rifle is, if your, uh, rifle is zeroed uh, at 300 meters and you know you're shooting at 400 meters, you can turn this to the 4 and your rifle will be re-zeroed at 400 meters. There's also an indentation for 5 and 6, uh, so it's good out to 600 meters uh, with these sights. On the right side of the rifle, you're going to find a dust cover, a forward assist, and a magazine release. The dust cover will open automatically whenever the bolt moves fore or aft. As soon as the bolt starts moving aft, the dust cover will open with the bolt back if the dust cover is closed and the bolts released the dust cover will open the forward assist I've split the rifle here to show you how the forward assist works and I'll get into how you do that in uh, just a minute um, the M4 uh, AR platform does not have a bolt in the traditional sense that you can just push forward. The bolt carrier group has some uh, notches cut in it and if the bolt fails to go into battery for some reason you can push forward on this forward assist which will ratchet the bolt into place. Unless you live in California, the magazine release works much the same as it does on most modern pistols. Insert the magazine, press the magazine release, and release the magazine. If you live in California, this button here will have a California compliant uh, bullet button. The outside of it cannot be pressed, the very inside of it has to be pressed with a bullet or other sharp pointed object. The left side of the rifle has two controls, a fire safety selector switch and a bolt catch. 
<coughs> currently the rifle is on safe which means you can't pull the trigger flip it to fire and you can shoot once the fire once the weapon has been discharged you cannot re-engage the safety until the gun has been cocked or charged to charge the weapon pull it all the way back and and release it and now you can put it on safe the bolt catch uh, release and the way it looks like a one position switch but it's actually a rocker the way it works is uh, pull the charging handle all the way to the rear push on the bottom of the bolt catch and hold the bolt open to release the bolt press the top of it To load an AR magazine, simply take your uh, rounds of ammunition, line them up with the back of the feed lips, and press them straight down. This is a 30 round magazine. About once every, uh, once you have about 10 rounds in there, give it a tap and continue loading. If you're at the end of the day and you want to unload your magazines, simply push forward and they'll come right out. To load the rifle, take a loaded magazine, this one's empty, put it in the magazine well, seat it, grab your charging handle, pull it all the way to the rear, let it go, do not ride it home, and that will charge your rifle. After the last round has been fired, the bolt will stay in the open position, release the old magazine, load a new magazine in there. Press the bolt catch release, and the rifle is again ready to fire. The rifle consists of an open and lower receiver, which can be broken down with two pins. Forward pivot pin and the rear takedown pin. Push the rear takedown pin from the back, pull it out. It will allow you to separate the upper and lower, and you can clean your gun from this point. I like to take my gun completely apart when I clean it. Push the forward pivot pin, pull it apart, and it allows for complete separation of the upper and lower receivers. To clean out your lower, you got to clean out the trigger assembly, and uh, I like to remove the buffer tube. To remove the buffer tube, you got a buffer here and a retention pin. Push down on the retention pin and the buffer will come forward, pick it up slightly and it will come right out with this spring. Once you have the spring out, you can give this just a slight twist and it will come right apart. Wipe it down, put it back together. To reassemble it, simply slide the spring into the buffer tube, push it all the way in and it will click and lock back in place. To clean out the upper receiver, take your charging handle pull it back about halfway. The bolt carrier group will come with it, slide it out the rest of the way and put it, put it down. Pull out your charging handle the rest of the way with a slight down pressure and you'll feel it drop into the, charging, uh, the bolt carrier group channel. The charging handle has a couple of lugs that are engaged about the same place here as the rear windage knob. This will allow you access to the inside of the upper receiver with the chamber and you can run a bore snake through the barrel or uh, a cleaning rod through the barrel with patches. This is your bolt carrier group and I'm going to show you how to disassemble it for cleaning. On the other side you'll find a firing pin retention pin located right here. I'm just going to use a toothpick to help get it out slide it right out. Next you remove the firing pin by banging the bolt carrier group against your hand. It comes right out. Make sure your bolt is all the way back and that will allow you to remove the cam pin. Turn it 90 degrees sideways and remove it straight up and slide your bolt out. To further disassemble your bolt for cleaning we're going to remove the extractor, excuse me, 
The extractor has a small spring located just here on the inside. I'm going to depress that spring with my finger and push the pin out to remove the extractor. Once I have the extractor removed, you can see that there's, there's the spring. Wipe this off real well, paying particular attention to this groove. That's the part that grabs your brass for extraction. Clean your bolt by cleaning its face uh, and cleaning in here a little bit. On the back here, you'll notice that there's a, quite a bit of carbon buildup along this uh, back side of this piston, as well as carbon buildup on the inside of this uh, bolt carrier where the piston rides. Wipe off the rest of them with uh, a rag, make sure they're nice and clean. And then to reassemble it, start off with the bolt. Grab your bolt and your extractor. Put the spring towards the back. Drop it in place. I'm looking in this hole here to get it lined up. Press it with your finger. Drop your pin in. Get your pin centered so that it's uh, flush on both sides. Take your bolt, drop it inside. Take your extractor, should be on the upper right side with this hole facing up. Drop it back into the bolt carrier group. You can see the hole right there. Take your cam pin, drop it in nine, 90 degrees, rotate it. Take your firing pin. Drop it into the bolt carrier group, seat it, and then take your retention pin and replace it. Oh, come on. There we go. Your bolt's now reassembled. To reinstall on the rifle, this cam pin has to be aligned with the gas key so just pull it forward and it will line itself. To reassemble your upper take your charging handle. Again you're going to line it up so that those lugs are about even with the, um, the uh, windage knob. Put it in the middle of the channel. Pick it up slightly. It'll pop into place. Push it forward just slightly. Take your gas key and put it inside the charging handle, like that, and push the whole thing home. It'll click into place. To reassemble the rifle, start off with the forward pivot pin. Line it up. Lock it into place. Swing the rifle together and lock it into place. Give it a operations check. Let's see. Pull the charging hand all the way back. Slide it forward and lock it. Release the uh, bolt carrier. Put it on safe. Doesn't fire. Put it on fire. Should shoot. Fire uh, safety should not engage at this point, and the rifle is fully reassembled and ready to go. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll try to answer them. Again, thanks for watching. Have a nice night.